All right, in today's fun and exciting video with Math with Marty, what we're going to learn is momentum. Okay, so the lesson is going to be on momentum. Now, momentum is a word that's been used widely in society, but uh, when I first encountered it in physics, it was kind of interesting um, because you can actually quantify momentum. Okay, we use momentum in everyday language when we say, oh, we're picking up momentum. Okay, momentum can be calculated by the following formula. So the formula goes as such P, okay, and P is a vector by the way, equals 2 mass times velocity V, okay. So P, guys, P is the momentum vector. Okay, so momentum has both a direction and a magnitude, okay? So I would say my, my momentum is, let's say, 20 um, units north, okay? So momentum has a certain direction, all right? Which makes sense. Like, let's say I'm in a car and I'm picking up speed. My, mom my momentum is increasing and it's increasing in a certain direction. Okay, so momentum is a vector quantity. It has a magnitude as well as a direction. The mass we already talked about is a scalar, all right? And the velocity uh, is, as we talked about in previous videos, the velocity is a vector quantity. So the velocity itself has a uh, direction and a magnitude. In fact, the velocity is what makes the momentum itself a vector. Because the only thing in this equation on the right side that's a vector is the green. It's the v, it's the vector, it's the velocity. Um, now, I want to illustrate something here. All right, so momentum is a quantity that depends on mass and velocity in the following way. Let's put out two scenarios, okay? So let's say, can't draw a straight line, a horizontal line, okay? Let's say I'm in a vehicle, okay? And we've got two vehicles. They're both moving with velocity v, okay? But one vehicle is, let's say, half the size of the other. Now I'm trying to demonstrate that with a drawing, but this is kind of difficult. Okay, I don't know. Let's say this is tw let's say this is half the size. So this is 2m and this is m. Okay? But they're both traveling with velocity v. Okay? According to the formula p equals mv, what momentum is going to be bigger and by how much? Well, this guy is twice as massive as that guy. So the momentum of this guy is going to be bigger than the momentum on the right. Okay. In fact, because P depends directly on M, if I make M twice as big, P will be twice as big. So what I'm saying here is that this guy's momentum is going to be 2p while this guy's momentum is going to be p on its own. This guy is twice as big as that guy. Okay? That's basically the gist. So if you make the mass twice as big, the momentum will be twice as big. In addition to that, let's say you have a scenario uh, we have, you know, two cars, okay? But now the two cars have the same mass, okay? So, so it's basically the same vehicle, okay? Man, I just suck at drawing cars. All right, let's say that it's the same vehicle, all right? So M and M, same mass. However, this car on the left is traveling at 2V, while the car on the right is traveling at half the velocity, half the speed. Which one has the higher momentum? It's the one on the left, which has the higher velocity. Okay, so this guy will have 2P, while this guy will simply have P. 
2p is greater than p. The, velo the momentum on the left will be higher than the momentum on the right. So if you want to maximize momentum, increase the mass, increase the velocity, you've increased momentum, you're good to go. You have the higher momentum. Okay. Now, that is momentum. And let's do some example calculations for momentum. Okay. So, Marty, so this is an example. Okay. I want to calculate momentum. Marty is in a vehicle. Um, with a total mass of 1500 kilograms. Okay. In addition to that, he travels at, let's say, he travels at 30 meters per second. What is his momentum? And let's say he's traveling forward. Okay, so I'm putting a little arrow forward. What is his momentum factor? So they're basically asking you to calculate the momentum. All right, that's all they're asking you to do. P is equal to the mass, which is 1500 kilograms, okay, times the velocity, which is 30 meters per second, and we're going to say forward. Okay, so 30 times 1500 is 45 thousand and the units for momentum and I don't want you to forget this the units for momentum are kilogram meters per second and it's going to be in a direction forward okay so that is how we calculate momentum this is how we quantify it all right so from now on when you think momentum think the product of mass and velocity. All right. In the next video, what we will be discussing is actually the change in momentum, which is the impulse. That'll be an exciting lesson. And it also, the impulse relates to force and time, but we will get into that in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, um, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Peace out. Bye-bye.